Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about three tips you can try to stop a creative block. These are in no particular order and these by no means are the three most definite ways you can try. This is just what I found in my personal experience being an artist for several years now. So let's get into it. Tip number one, stop waiting for inspiration and just start creating. In my experience, what I found is you just have to start working and through the process of being an active participant in art making or the creative process, inspiration is gonna find you as opposed to you just waiting for it to appear. Here are some tips to get started. Having a sketchbook with you at all times is invaluable for those times where you all of a sudden get a great idea, uh, you wanna be able to take that down. Nowadays, people can use their phone and take notes on that. In my experience, and because I draw and sketch a lot, nothing replaces a, a sketchbook. Take a look through your sketchbook. A lot of times you'll find ideas that haven't been fully explored or rendered out since they may have been jotted down weeks, months, even years ago. Revisiting those, you might get a whole you know, different kind of perspective on those and you can maybe take that idea forward. Grab a piece of paper, grab a canvas, and just start making marks or start jotting down ideas. A lot of times what I found is the process of adding marks to a piece of paper or grabbing paint and adding that on the canvas, just the process of working will start generating ideas and I'll start sort of having a conversation uh, with whatever I'm doing. And finally on this, I strongly recommend you have multiple works going at the same time. Having multiple projects or things to work on really helps in keeping a momentum going. A lot of the times I will reach a point on a drawing or a painting where I'm kind of stuck and I don't really know where to go. That's the perfect time to just set it aside grab something else and start working on that. So just going back to that momentum piece, I feel like getting rid of a creative block is all about just keeping momentum going. And if you keep momentum, it's really hard for you to stop. If you haven't been producing in a little while, then it's really hard to actually start. So once you do get momentum going, do your very best to just protect that and keep that moving forward. Number two, reinterpret work that you like. So we all have works that have really influenced us or that we admire. Pick some of these sources, reference them, and use them as a springboard for your next piece. You can use these references in multiple ways, such as taking the structure of that piece and creating your own work based off of that same structure, or even using the theme that's expressed or that's explored in that work, you can use that by recontextualizing that theme within a contemporary context. One reinterpretation or reimagining that has always kind of stood out to me was Pablo Picasso's reinterpretation of Las Meninas by Diego Velázquez. Picasso actually painted 58 paintings that were part of a series called Las Meninas. Here, I think Picasso was really trying to understand and analyze the structure of this masterpiece. So just like he can look at a past master and try to learn from it, you can do the same. And at the end of it, he left behind 58 different paintings and no doubt some really valuable insights from studying Velazquez. Tip number three, create variations of work you've done. Something I used to do before is try to communicate everything about an idea in one single painting. It took me a while to stop and realize that if I really want to create bodies in a series of work, it's okay to just explore one aspect of an idea, leave the rest of the exploration to other different works. Kind of like having, you know, one drawing or one painting be a verse to an entire song. In this series, which is currently untitled, I took similar imagery and kept creating variations and exploring similar images and themes. I used different portraits, different materials, and eventually through working on this series, I found a jumping off point where I can continue exploring. The funny thing is about this series is that it started off as me not really knowing what to do next. I found this really good portrait and I thought, how would this look if Van Gogh would paint this using similar color schemes and a similar style that eventually turned into 
you know this whole series and that's it hopefully that has helped again just to recap what we talked about the three different tips that you can try to get over a creative block stop waiting for inspiration start creating reinterpret the work that you like and create variations of work that you've done hope this helps and we'll see you in the next one and also real quick guys before we do wrap this one up don't forget to like the video subscribe if you feel so inclined and drop a comment down below if you have any other tips on what you do to get over a creative block thanks